Hey everyone, here we are back. Celestial Farm Girl here. Welcome in. Um, we're doing part three, and this is the part where we look to see what God would advise us to do. The higher consciousness, the most high power, the most high creator, the creator of the universe. I only go to the top. That's the way it is. I want the one that created it all and what his mind is and what he expected when he created it. What was his dream? You know, what was God's dream? And so <clears throat> we got this at first. I didn't mean to turn it over, but remember in number one, it was the first one that got turned over. And I said, well, I'm going to leave it there and put another one on the side of it for God. And this, you know, is somewhat of a message. And it's just like the beginning of warmth and love towards someone from what I understand this night is all nights wrapped in one it's fire air water and earth and um you know he is mostly fire and air he burns quick he needs to be grounded but it's about bringing love peace warmth warmth uh, making something warm in the heart and a fire so that's the message it's to warm your hearts with love and peace and goodwill and now i'm going to turn over this one queen of swords is speaking and what she's saying is stand in truth and watch your boundaries to make sure that you don't give your energy up, to make sure that you can become your own individual with your own actions, your own um, things that bring you joy. God wants you to understand who you are within your individual true self, which is that image of God that God dreamed you to be. God wanted to create you to be. Um, carry your sword proudly, walk in justice, walk in truth, walk in honor. This is the narrow road. Um, it looks like most divine feminines chose this road. This is uh, air and water. You know, thoughts, ideas, um, discipline, you know, watching over yourself, keeping yourself safe boundaries watching your boundaries okay so i'm going to go to the angel deck right here we haven't used it yet and ask god you know what other advice would uh the great creator of creations the rock um you know imagine for us on this earth so we make boundaries so we can become an individual we make boundaries so that we can understand we have our own language of energy. And if we're always mixing our energy in with a bunch of other people, bringing them into our lives, hanging out all the time, you don't even really get to know who you are or what you are or why you are. And it's very important that we understand ourselves as individual humans so that we can be authentic. And that's when we're in our God self, our God present, that individualistic energy that was created just for us. Just like we only have one fingerprint. Nobody else has that. It's the same with our energy. We're all individuals. We're beautiful creations and ideas of the great most high idea there is. <clears throat> to a water. <clears throat> a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. God says that um, the most high spirit is telling us that for those of us who've been through heartbreak, this warmth is coming in and so is resolutions. Angelic help is coming. Spiritual help is coming. Um, you know, we're going to heal the broken ones, the hurt ones, those who've been through battles that they don't even understand, you know. And um, love, God is love. 
confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. God is going to deliver grace. He's, he wants us to be confident. You know, he wants us to know that we're beloved by the universe and that we are changing this world for the better, right? Right. Um, stretch your wings and fly. Do not underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Be who God wanted you to be. Do not be a cookie. Why? Because all cookies look and act the same. We know that everybody has a personal um, relationship with God. That would mean that's because none of us are the same. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be odd. It's okay to not fit in. It's okay. That's all right. Yeah. It just means you're going to stand out, and that's okay, too. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is what God wants you to do. Nine of fire. Have courage to protect yourself, to protect your energy, to protect your individualism. Be independent, not codependent. Be an observer, not an absor absorber. Do not absorb energy from anybody else and dilute yourself down. Be who you are and love every minute of it. Do not absorb other energies. Um, be independent. Observe, but don't absorb. What we got here? Ten of water, ten of cups, nine of earth. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Three of air. This is what God wants you to do. Um, four of cups was upside down. No more remorse. No more remorse. Allow that remorse to be released and learn to love yourself as you would love God and others but love yourself first and then you'll know you'll understand so much more you'll come to the nine of pentacles full of abundance and god says you're not far also from the ten of cups a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships a trustworthy relationship. Wow. That just kind of blows me away. Right? I mean, it does. I, I'm sorry, people. I'm not cynical. But a trustworthy relationship. What a blessing that would be. You know, I've been married four times, and every one of my marriages were the result of infidelity. Yeah. Yeah. And I will admit one time I was, I did it. It was after it had been done to me, and I'm not making an excuse. But uh, then after that, I got a couple times it was done to me again. But I did not retaliate that time like I did the last time. And this time I've been single for almost two years now, and I love it. I haven't dated I just want to, you know, learn about myself. I want to learn to love myself. I don't even know what I want from a man anymore. I don't. I don't know what to expect. <clears throat> or a mate. Let's just say a mate, you know. I don't know what to expect. I don't. I'm living life day to day, and I find joy in it every day. And that's just the choice I make. And I'm going to continue to make that choice for the rest of my life because God is awesome. My life is awesome. Uh, I've got hobbies. I've got kids. I've got grandchildren. You know, and I was married for like almost 50 years. And no, I don't want to do that no more. Not this time anyway. I don't want to be anybody's wife. I want to be my wife. I want to be my wife and my husband. I want to be my own boss. Yeah, I want to be my boss. I want to lead, guide, and direct me where I want to go. I've never done that before except for the last two years, and I love it. Ooh, what's this? Fear surrounding money. No, this ain't the one we want. That's on the bottom. 
Let's take this one. Seven of Cups. A complex decision. The need to do research. Stop procrastinating. Hmm. Stop procrastinating. <laughs> need to do research. On love? What? What? God. I haven't been procrastinating. I'm, I don't know that I want to be in a relationship. I haven't even decided yet if I wanted to look. Aid of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. I think God's trying to tell me I need to get hooked up or something, right? A single girl. So are you saying we need to get hooked up, find somebody to love us and make us feel good? Great God, creator of creations. Let's see. Is that where you're moving to? I love myself at this point in time, so... Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Okay, well, we're going to leave it at that. God says we got something coming in, a new adventure, some kind of contracts. We'll see where it takes us because what do we do? We live one day at a time and we love every day and savor it, right? We savor every day. The magician, you are ready. You have the resources, the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Well, ladies, if you're ready to manifest a lover into your life, somebody that will give you what you want, this is the most high of creator of creation saying it's time to move forward. You're ready if you want to. And, you know, of course, it's always your choice. But he says uh, most of us have developed ourselves to a place where we would be valued very much, you know, in any relationship we go into because we have grown and learned to um, make better choices. King of Fire, motivated, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So if you got someone on your mind out there, girls, God says it's time to move forward. He's waiting for you. Or same with ladies, if there's somebody. Or guys, if you guys are waiting for somebody, it's time to move forward. They're waiting for you. And with that being said, please like, subscribe. Uh, please have a wonderful day. Please go to part one and part two. And please like and subscribe, I pray. Support this channel as we move forward into the battle of the exes. And to see how things are going to go from there. We always must move move on both sides you know we all have to move on that's the way life goes we move on we move forward and we smile and we take each day and we find the little things and the simple things to be happy about whether it's our puppy whether it's picking flowers whether you know the pumpkins are ripe you know there's always something to be grateful for and so practice gratefulness practice love practice peace and I pray that you all be blessed this day. I love you. Bye-bye.